Hey, this is Keith from Outlaw Speed Shop, and welcome to the November 2021 Four Horsemen build. Theme is police car. If you want to keep up, make sure you follow along. Next month's theme is shop truck, and it's a 62 Chevy pickup. As always, email your picks to the email on the screen. So, as I stated, the theme is police car. This is a uh, real rider's car. It's a Gumball 3000 Pagini, Pagini, Vagina. I have no idea what the hell this thing is. It's a it's a supercar. It's a hoo-ha, hoo-genie. I have no idea. Anyways, uh, you guys know I'm not into this kind of vehicle anyway. So, start off by drilling the posts um, these ones are a little bit more complicated than the plastic base cars you have to be a little bit more careful um, the metal bases are great to work with but they take a little bit more effort when it comes to drilling out the posts i start with a smaller drill which pretty much gets me a good um, indentation that gets deep enough where i can then hit it with uh, the exact size drill bit that i need to hit the the rivet or peened over post whatever you want to call it this doesn't have a lot of room some vehicles have decent amount of space between the wheel and the wheel well where you can pry um, this one the back wasn't that bad but the front was a little tricky um, so i ended up um, having to grab a pick which allowed me to get in there a little bit better than a screwdriver um, there's not a lot of footage on this because it wasn't a lot to do the theme is police car um uh, to be honest with you, I got kind of lazy on this one, and I got lost. Didn't really know what to do. There was no good place that I found to put lights, and I wasn't all that creative. I do know that stripping it sucked. Um, I put it in the citrus strip for a day, and this is how it came out. Um, it really didn't do that well. The paint on the premiums is much better than the normal main lines at times so I had a little bit of a struggle I could get some of it off with my wire wheel attachment but I ended up putting it in some aircraft stripper um, at this point when I realized I couldn't get the remaining paint off and even though I'm gonna paint it black because it's a police car I was gonna go like state police um, colors which like from Massachusetts is like a dark blue and a baby blue i'm not really sure it's like a light blue but anyways once i get the citrus strip i decided to paint it black i'm using this um hobby paint which gives it like a satin finish um so i didn't even prime it i just put that paint on it and then i've <laughs> i thought i had some um sheriff decals and apparently i threw them away so at this point it's the 11th hour the video is due out the next day at this point um actually two days from I'm actually filming this right, you know, at that point. I think it was Sunday morning. And the video was due out Tuesday, which gave me Monday, which is today, to uh, finish it. But I had some uh, Warhammer 40K decals. So I decided to go a different route. I'm going with, it's a police vehicle, but it's a police vehicle in a futuristic world where there's a death squad. <laughs> and this is the Battalion 2 um cop car so uh deal with it <laughs> i again i'm uh, the the car threw me off i know these challengers are supposed to be you know to push us to our limits and um i know where my limit is and it's obviously exotic cars so if you really want to screw me up on a challenge uh hit me up for a <laughs> exotic car i'm just kidding don't hit me up at all um so i found a death skull to put on the on the doors and then i put the, the battalion two decals behind it and then i'm going to paint the the headlights um tail lights and i guess fog lights i don't know whatever that crap is underneath on the front uh, marker lights of some sort i painted them like red and blue with a little bit of white in there to like that would be the sirens you know like the unmarked cars have them in the grills that's kind of what i was going after uh, and then i just threw like five coats of clear on it to make it shiny and that was pretty much it um, i know i've been busy uh lately i did i'm on as of right now i am on 
technically just started week three of the JDC Outlaw Roll-Off Drag Series. So that's been three videos a week for four weeks. And um, some of you also know, if you're friends with me on Facebook, I do a lot of RC racing. Um, and I've been trying to dial in my cars and race seasons just about on us. I've been racing on Sundays on the practices with the club races. And during the week, I've been trying to kind of tune on those so that I'm ready for the weekend. But I'm pretty much at the point where I'm the cars are good. I'm, I'm just lacking in my talent area. Uh, so it won't suck up any more of my die cast time, let's say. So I'll be back to a regular schedule. Um, if not, uh, we got one more week. So I'd say mid-December of 2021, depending upon when you're watching this. So, again, I apologize. Uh, sometimes life gets in the way and you take on more than you can chew. So I'm kind of at that point right now where I get kind of overwhelmed. Then, of course, you know, work is dead until I get other things going on. Then work gets crazy and, yeah, life gets in the way. But, again, this is a hobby. It's supposed to be fun. I do videos just because I enjoy the process of creating. And um, when it's not fun, I don't do them. You know, a lot of guys that do videos put a lot of pressure on themselves to put out one a week. Um, I was that way for two and a half years. And now I put them out when I put them out. Um, I try to be consistent and get one a week, but it doesn't always happen. Um, and if it doesn't, it's usually for a good reason. Um, and sometimes, you know, you tend to lose a little bit of inspiration, you know, um, a great, I'm not the greatest diecast guy in the world. There's guys out there that are, you know, uh, going crazy um, and more power to them. I don't have that talent level, nor do I have the time to invest into it. I do these videos because I hope it sparks some inspiration in people to get into a hobby that's fairly inexpensive to get into, at least. Um, and it's, it's good to unwind after a hard day of work. Or clear your head if, you know, uh, maybe you have PTSD or um, ADHD or uh, Asperger's, autism, whatever it is. It's things like this where you can focus uh, really makes a big difference. So um, here I'm using my automotive clear. A lot of guys and girls have asked what I use. I've shown it in other videos. It's a four to one mix. It's a 2K clear. Essentially, if you ordered a clear from the Redline shop, this is the same stuff. Uh, except I'm buying it in bulk. And uh, what, what you see in front of you is lasting me like a year. So um, it's four to one, pretty simple. Uh, picked it up in my local auto body supply, not like an auto zone or anything, but an actual auto body um, supply store. Um, I believe these are like um, 3M bought these guys, or I'm pretty sure they're DuPont. I'm not sure, but it's Nason. That's the hardener. And then this is the actual clear itself. Those are the numbers. Um, overall, came out good. I painted the interior black um, just to get rid of the red because that was too much of a contrast. You can see the shine it's got on it. came out pretty good. Um, overall, for what it was, for what I had to deal with and what I don't like about it, <laughs> it is what it is. If you like the content, make sure you like this video and don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified of all future videos. Not sure if you guys are aware, but I do have an Outlaw Custom Club YouTube membership uh, with special benefits. Uh, some members only content like website discounts to customs that I have for sale, behind the scenes videos, progress pictures and content, so on and so forth. Make sure you check it out. So this is what I started with, a whatever, <laughs> Gumball 3000. This is what I ended up with. Um, as you can see, um, it's shiny. Um, you can't really see the blue. You can see the blue and the red a little bit in the tail lights, but again, those are supposed to be indicative of flashing lights coming up at you on the highway. Uh, it's Battalion 2 of the Death Squad cop car. Again, this is just my take. I've seen some of the other guys, what they've already done, and it's nowhere near um, what I'm doing. So at least I get points for being different, even though it's not really kind of falls within the theme. But <laughs> um, either way, I'm looking forward to getting back into uh, the gist of things and, and pumping out some more videos for you. I got some great projects coming up. So um, I hope you like it. Make sure you check out the other guys um, and everybody else who's participating in the Four Horsemen builds and check the recap video. Uh, that usually comes out a week to two weeks after the end of the month. 
And that's it. I will catch you on the next one.